Oh my god! <gasps> oh, it's so kawaii! This is some smart marketing. I will tell you that right now. Back doing dating simulators. I love it. Maybe today is the day I finally find my OTP, my one true love. Today, we're gonna play KFC's new dating simulator. I love you, Colonel Sanders. Which is something I've said before they released the game. A finger licking good dating simulator. <laughs> I'm gonna be dating Colonel Sanders today? Probably. I'm from Kentucky and I'm a vegetarian, so this is like doubly blasphemous. But you know, whoever I see, I'm gonna win their heart. Being recently single, this is gonna help me, you know, juice up my swag a bit, learning how to talk to people. That's what games really are for, to teach us how to play life, the hardest game of all. Let's get crispy. <laughs> Ew! Whoa. This like really reminds me of anime and I really love anime, I'm like kind of upset. Me and Colonel, we got the same glasses, so I'm already feeling the synergy. I hate how much I love this right now. I'm ready to roll, I'm ready to fall in love. Is this a bootleg BTS? Your first day of culinary school, there's no time to sleep in. I gotta smack that clock, baby. You confidently grab a biscuit. Wait, why do we just have a biscuit? Ooh, look at that, anime biscuit. I see you, KFC. I am craving them now though, so. You're sweating buckets as you rush to leave in time. Uh-oh, we stanky. Standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. I love how long the name of the school is. Here comes your lifelong best friends forever, Miriam. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you've absolutely love her for it. I love her! Good morning, Kelsey. Are you excited about the first day of the rest of our lives? Obviously. All summer you've been hearing rumors about the dreamy, enigmatic mystery student who enrolled at the school. They say he has powers. He's had them ever since he was born from an egg. He was born from an egg? Like a chicken? Before you get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands onto the ground. Ooh, it's our rival. It's Ashley. Your arch rival. She's totally evil, but you can't help be filled with jealousy. She can get everything she wants and she knows it. And she's already won my heart. Woo! Thick. Across the quad, you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. Stop to look at his own reflection in the mirror. Whoa, handsome. Oh, they both thick. By the way, Van Van looks like a character straight out of JoJo. If you haven't watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, check it out. Your amateurs could learn a lot from us. All right, Van Van, you have a name that is two things and your hair is a star. You need to calm down. I know this is about Colonel, but Ashley stepped into my life. <laughs> Oh, that's gross. Is this a puppy or a child? As you approach the door, you see a goofy looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. I think it's broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. I love you. Oh, Pop, let's slow down. You got this one guy who's got these powers and he's enrolled in the same school as this little weirdo. Is it just me or is he kind of cute? No, Miriam, no. Sprinkles the dog is our teacher. The health codes out the door. Please call me Professor Doll. I may be cute and a little fluffy, but I still demand respect. Woof. Head instructor and CEO of our school? <laughs> what do you mean CEO? Why is there wind of cherry blossom petals in the class? I'm chilly, someone close the window. And then he walks in. Hello, handsome yes. He's also pretty jacked. I'm unhappy, but also I'm thrilled. If it isn't my favorite stool, Harlan, Colonel Sanders interrupts Sprinkles. Sorry, Professor Dog. Before he can finish his sentence. Please, call me Colonel. Okay, he's got superpowers. This is a three-day course. Why is he here again? You're immediately swept up in the aura of this new student and his remarkable goatee. A hushed murmur rolls through the classroom as Colonel Sanders walks down the aisle of desk. Suddenly, the room is sweltering. Boy, howdy, this classroom gets hotter than a Kentucky fryer. My family says stuff like that. Sweat begins to beat across your brow. Please use my handkerchief. Wait, Colonel Sanders is talking to you? About how sweaty you look? Completely mortified. <laughs> I'll take the handkerchief, real sexy one. Just then, another student enters the classroom and interrupts the professor. Who is this? Hey guys, sorry I'm late. I hope everyone had a good summer. I really miss. Quiet! Sprinkles has no patience for this student. Okay, so Colonel Sanders was late and interrupted him. So clearly playing favorites. Tardiness is unacceptable. But what about Colonel Sanders? Even Clank made it here on time, rolling halfway across town on his tiny wheels. Who's Clank? Oh my God, Clank is a robot. Oh, look at Clank. <laughs> 
Word. Why would you laugh at that? Oh, click, you rascal. What is this game? Hmm, your diet is lacking. Based on what I'm picking up here, you definitely need a multivitamin. You should be taking better care of yourself. All right, I'm stanky. I get it. Decide to try and butter him up by giving him a treat from your pocket, but what kind? A beef treat, a rubber ball, or a chicken snack? Chicken snack. I feel like this game is a little too on a track, so I'm gonna derail it for a second and give him a beef treat. Are you trying to give me a heart attack? I would never eat that. Whoa, am I getting kicked out? Please remove your apron and then remove yourself from this class. I lost. Are you seriously? I lost the game. What am I gonna do? My parents paid a lot of money for this three day school. All right, he wants a chicken snack. Settle down, young chefs. Take your seats and prepare to have your minds open to the amazing possibilities of culinary creation. As everyone rushes to claim their favorite seats, you're left standing at the front of the room. Only two options remain. Hey, Yiffy, there's still a seat here. Oh my God, so do I sit next to Colonel Sanders or do I sit next to my best friend? You move to take your seat by Colonel Sanders. I'm not here to make friends. <laughs> Think fast, time for a prop quiz. This is the first day of school. If train A is traveling to point B and train B is traveling, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed right now. The first part is we have what we call in the math world, unnecessary information. So the real question, take away that, how important is it to wash your hands before cooking? Extremely. Looking at you, Pop, you dirty. Forest is a bunch of trees. Chicken is a bunch of feathers. I'm gonna guess this game is pro spork. I don't know why. What food is best for a broken heart? Anything, as long as it can be prepared with love and not too much salt, as long as it's prepared with love. Is Sprinkles a good boy? He's a talking dog that teaches at culinary school. He is the best boy. That is right. I love that Sprinkles put that on their pop quiz. I know we just met, but I have to confess. I think you have a beautiful brain. What? See, that's my line right there. It's like, look, I know I came over here in this club, got that dress on, but I'm really interested in that brain. And you look like you know what's popping with the Pythagorean theorem. Time for lunch, thank God. Everyone, can I have your attention? Why are you talking again, Thriller? Pop, why are y'all sitting next to me? Howdy, folks, I'd like to make an announcement. It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. In honor of our new semester, I've prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. That's not appealing to me. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. I feel like I'm being duped right now into being an ad for KFC. He's talking about a secret recipe. Everyone's very impressed in writing it down. Let's talk about this guy's meat paws. His hands are huge. Dear diary, today I smelled something beautiful. I knew at that moment that only the hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. Oh, she trying to come for my man? Back off, girl. Easy now, there's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. That is what he would sound like. He takes one bite and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face. Then Colonel looks him straight in the face and says, Oh man, why she do? And then Van Van goes, Nani! And then his head explodes. I'm transported. Tasting Colonel Sanders' food transports me to another dimension. Alone with your taste buds, gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Should I focus my mind and meditate on this moment, try and identify every flavor, savor the moment, and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary hype? Swim towards the light. I'm gonna focus on Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love. For a man, for a flavor, are they the same? Um, try and identify. You let the food rest in your mouth and focus on it. Could it be? <laughs> you really did it. How bold, how adventurous to use a blank. I want to swim toward the light. Your mind dissolves. There is no mat now. There is only herbs and spices. I died again. Ah, uh, I'll try again. I don't think I've ever had another person cook for me. It's the first time I'm getting like someone to romantically cook for me in a video game. After tasting his, I hate this. After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with the Colonel. Colonel, I wondered if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? It's an idea for a new combination of flavors that will make me and my fortune and establish my legacy for all times as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I got some of my own I'd be willing to trade. Just one ingredient, but you can't tell. I use burp. So even the game is like bleeping out the recipe. Now you're two ingredients closer to know the full recipe, but you don't tell Colonel Sanders that. I'm getting the recipe and I'm winning Ashley. That's the sub game I'm playing. Colonel. Ah, I found him in the quad. I'm gonna neg him. I stopped at a random fried chicken stand the other day and their chicken tastes exactly the same. I think I'm going down the wrong road again. <laughs> hey Matt, you saw this game was called a dating sim, right? If that's your idea of dating, then it's not the game for you.
I'm gonna be modest but thoughtful. Well, I just wanted to tell you that I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. I'm in a kitchen now. All right, Sprinkles is welcoming us to this cooking arena, and for today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Sorry, we're gonna pair off again. Naturally, Miam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel I pounce on Colonel Sanders? All right, game. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Oh, it's Pop versus Clank. Clank, a thousand percent, is probably gonna be the better cook, but Miriam was eyeing Pop. I'm gonna suggest that she goes with Dirty Bay and build that love, and when she's focused on her love thing, she won't be mixed up in me. Sorry, Clank, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Pop today. Pop gives a big smile as he steps up to the same station as Miriam. I'm a chef! <laughs> oh no. He looks at you like, really, this kid? But it's too late to change your choice. You're the one thirsting. All right, you two, for today's lesson, we're gonna keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. I mean, who can resist some mashed potatoes and gravy? A lot of times I use turkey as the base for gravy. I can't have a chicken or a turkey stock, but I won't tell him that. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? No, <laughs> it's on you. Are we battling right now? We fit together like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Back the fork off, Ashley. We're cooking partners. Mind your own freaking business. You look down at your station, realize that at the tension of the moment, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well. See, Granny taught me how to cook these mashed potatoes, but our village was attacked by a giant kaiju. She handed me her recipe in a scarf and was stepped on by a 70-foot lizard. And my house, my granny was gone. All I had was this recipe. But the last thing Granny said to me before that, that giant lizard foot came crushing down on her was like, Iffy, you cook the best mashed potatoes you can plus ultra. We finished these mashed potatoes. Oh, he's not gonna kiss me. Colonel Sanders holds the spork out to you. You reach out and grab a hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment, all the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. The moment is electric. Time stands still. If you love something, set it free. What? Van Van rushes back over a covered dish in his hand. It's on an axe! He serves octopus with silky saltwater sauce, plated on a battle axe, yuck. You ignored me for too long, that ends now. It is I who have first bite, and you will look on with envy. No, don't! Too late, it's eaten. Ah, I think I left something in the oven. Van Van, disappears. Student, doesn't feel so good. It killed her! <laughs> When you look back at the plate, the rest is gone. You notice the tip of the tentacle being slurped in Pop's mouth. Is Pop gonna die? The entire class is gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Adios, Pop. We hardly knew ye. Because we didn't want to know ye. Tastes like poison. <laughs> oh, he didn't die. Seeing that you're shaken up by that really annoying student and all of his nonsense. We were so mean to the student. Colonel Sanders approaches you. Can you imagine him walking up to you, trying to give you like a nice moment, and then you hear, I'm sorry you had to go through that. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please, let me walk you home. Thank you, Colonel. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. It might be the perfect time to tell him that you're developing feelings for him. Oh my God, let's do it. Let's do it. There's something I need to tell you. What the frack, Van Van? When I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef in the world the world has ever seen, okay? We should follow our dreams with all our hearts, and our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Shut up! I'm the only one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Forget them. We're talking about me. Me, 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 me. I'm the hero. The spork monster is here to fight a hero. So now Van Van's like later nerds and dipping out when we meet a monster. Be afraid. Be very afraid of me because I'm a monster, see? I don't know if that's the right voice for Spork Monster, but I made it and I'm going with it. What will you do? Attack. Cook with love. There's only one option. Oh no, we got upset the Spork Monster and it's gonna attack me. It threw hot gravy at me and I take one damage. All right, we're gonna just keep attacking. I think it might be a chicken nugget or it might be a, <laughs> a nice hard piece of mashed potato. I'm gonna defend. I don't wanna hurt the Spork Monster. I'm a lover, not a fighter. It's been hot gravy at me. No! I will die here before I inflict damage on Spork Monster. I'm not gonna survive. All right, I guess I'll defend. Trepidation, sure. I curl into a ball. I would never. Feeling vulnerable, Spork Monster prepares for ultimate attack. Well, villain, your reign of terror stops here. Summons the energy of 1,000 chickens. <laughs> I mean, he's got a nice physique. What? Pie power bit! 
Pot Pie Power Pinch does 10 damage. Spork Monster is defeated. Colonel, you saved me. Oh my god. His mouth isn't as juicy anymore. How rude. This game will not let me be the hero of this story. Forget Mercy, finish him. No, I'm gonna spare this wretched beast. I won't forget this, and I certainly won't be back like you said. And he left behind his special item. It seems to be a cookbook. A book of magic spells with a golden chicken on the cover. You open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name seemed to be signed out to <laughs> Borco. The world around you begins to fade away. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, Darkness overtakes you. Ooh, you in my room now. Yeah. He's in my room, I didn't even clean it. He must have helped me got home, but in my tired state, you don't even know if you could have made it home without him. What a guy. Good night, my colonel. We're dreaming that we're together, and for some reason, Sprinkles is also there instructing your love. Dreams are weird. That's true. <laughs> ah, Sprinkles, and the other ones, whose names I don't remember, and the ghosts. That was truly bizarre. It was very thoughtful. There's definitely like some fun anime themes and RPG themes that they play with. I think maybe I could learn to love a man who cooks chicken. Maybe that's not so bad. We both have facial hair. The making out would be interesting. There's some nerd who works at KFC who made this, who actually does like watch all these things. And good job to you, whoever you are out there. I'm upset by how hot Colonel Sanders is. I would love a chance to finish what I started and chase down the Colonel and maybe die a few more times.